So this will be a tutorial over how to get Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon running well and with as little lag as possible. So you want to come up here to emulation and go to configure. This will be the settings needed for any emulator. So you want to turn on custom CPU ticks. Change for 60 FPS. You want to have this at 4100 and knock the CPU clock speed down to 25%. If you want 30 FPS, change the custom CPU ticks to 6500 and you'll get the correct 30 FPS. Next, you want to go to advanced. Don't touch resolution for now. You want to go to advanced and this doesn't matter. Sharper distance objects doesn't really matter. It's just if you want your game to look better. Ignore format reinterpretation should be on. Enable shader jet and reduce stuttering by saving shaders to disk should be on. So next you want to type in your Windows search bar. Type in the settings and it'll pop up settings and it'll open it. Click it and then go to system. Then go to graphics and then you want to turn on hardware set GPU scheduling. So next, the last few settings are going to be only if you've played Dark Moon before. If you have not played Dark Moon before, then these settings likely will either not show up for you or help with the gameplay at all. So go ahead and come up to your quick access and type in percent app data, percent, press enter, then go to Citra. You want to type it, you're going to go to the config, open it, and then find the section which says render, it's like core here for example. Render over here, you want to go to render and you want to have the resolution factor, let's say equal to whatever you had at last. Backspace and type in 200. Then come over here to file, click save, exit. Next, you want to backspace one, go into shaders, open GL, and right here it'll be like pre compiled. Let's see, something like that. And what you want to do is just, it'll be like right down here. And you want to just delete that. It'll be pretty compiled if you just delete it. And now the final settings is actually in the emulator itself. And this will be back up in emulation. Click configure and go to system and audio. Audio stretching is, on, is usually supposed to be on if you don't have your shaders built. Just make sure when you turn it off, you have a good amount of shaders built and your speed is at 100% exactly. Not 101 or 99%, exactly 100%. And that's it. Make sure deleting the pre-compiled CV folder and changing the resolution factor to 200% in the config file is done every time you boot Dark Moon. So now you want to open Task Manager. Make sure Search of Valentine is open when doing this. You want to go to Details. Right click on such a balance in and hover over set priority and then click high and then click change priority. So next you want to open NVIDIA control panel. Right click on your desktop and click on NVIDIA control panel. Wait for it to load, then come over here and manage 3D settings, click on that, then click on program settings and you want to click add for it to load and then click on Citra balance and add selected program then come over here make sure triple buffering is on just do this click on on it'll be on and for vsync and for vsync it should be on go over here click on on so now that you've got here the audio is completely screwed up and the screen is completely black to fix this you want to go to emulation configure and change the resolution to whatever you want. Normally for 60 FPS config, you want to have it at 1 through 5x. For 30 FPS, you want to have it at 6x and above. So I'm going to go 5x because I'm on a 30 FPS. I'm on a 60 FPS config right now. And it's fixed.